Hello, YouTube world. I'm here sitting with Eddie Knox today on this beautiful Sunday. How are you? Boom, boom, boom. I'm good. So do you go by Knox, Knoxy, Eddie Knox, just to clarify for everyone? I technically go by all three depending what I'm doing. If I'm like designing, then I go by Eddie Knox. If I'm rapping, I go by Knoxy. If we're in the house like we are now, you could just call me Knox. Where did your names come from? Oh, shit, this is a good one. Okay, so I was at Walmart playing Guitar Hero, and I got a perfect score on, like, Rock Band, and the rock star's name was Eddie Knox. And I said, shit, a perfect score at Walmart, game, gotta take the name. Do you like playing the drums or the guitar? Guitar, off top. My favorite is the drums. See, we would have been a rock band. <laughs> right, right, we would have been lit. Um, can you tell us a little bit about your music? My music, as far as, like, genre, I would call it, is more like trap rock. Because I love hip hop, don't get me wrong. I even love pop, but I obsess over like punk rock of the 90s era, like Nirvana, 311, Rem, shit like that. And then I infuse it with like the 808 and the bass. So I get like a trap rock. How would you say that you grew into this wave that you've created? The wave was placed on me. I'm just a, you know what I'm saying? It was placed on me. God just gave it to me. And to be real, I see that genre of music kind of lacking and I know that we lost a couple influential artists that do that music like XXX Tentacion, Little Peep, niggas like that who are like I listen to in that genre sadly passed away and I just feel like we're lacking that punk soft rock feel. Would you say you sound like anyone in the game currently? I can. I could sound like somebody in the game like I've heard people compare me to like like, oh, you Draken or shit like that. But every record doesn't sound the same. That's why I like my music. Because it doesn't, I might not have found my comprehensive sound yet, but all my stuff sounds different. And I could have a song where it sounds like three people are featured on the song, but it's only me type shit. So when did you start actually rapping? <sighs> I've been rapping mostly all my life, but taking it seriously, like 2016, 17, I was like, I'm putting shit on iTunes. How many songs do you have on iTunes currently? <laughs> Too much. <laughs> I got like 40. But I got um, three albums on iTunes, and I mix and master my stuff with my friend. Kind of got our own little independent team, and we put it out together. So I got like three albums, and they get, you know, moderate, cool plays. I'm not mad. I'm blessed. I know a lot of artists have trouble um, actually getting started in the rap game. What actually made you take that extra leap? Boom, my best friend is already a rapper, so I was already in the studio and she was signed to a major artist and we were already in his studio and like running up his budget and then one day she was just like, why don't you get in the booth like for real? And I'm like, oh, fuck it. I put the headphones on and then I'd like to hear my voice. I was like, oh, I don't sound too bad. Fuck it, keep going. What was the first song you put out? <sighs> The first song I put out, this is a crazy story. The first song I put out was a full length mixtape. The first song I put out was 45 minutes long. And it was like 11 songs chopped down into one long mixtape, and I put it on SoundCloud. It's called Cruel Intentions by Noxie. If you look it up and DM me, I'll send you a free shirt because you're a real ass nigga if you listen to a 45 minute song. <laughs> Did you get tired in the booth? Doing a 45 minute long song? It was a whole bunch of freestyles <laughs> that we put together. So it was like one 12 minute freestyle, one six minute freestyle, then like an eight minute bus rhyme over three beats, and then we just put it all together. It was sloppily done, but we made it through. So what does a 45 minute song even sound like? Like, did you take breaks? Like, how does that work? Yeah, I took the breaks, and uh, the engineer just put it all together. Really, I didn't even put it all together, but when it came together, it just sounded like a long song with no break it was just like 10 songs that just ran so you couldn't skip to your f favorite song you just had to listen to the shit and if you like the song like it was like 10 minutes 50 seconds and you have to be like oh i like that song right that's there. a whole album <laughs> that's a whole, that's a whole album <laughs> <laughs> so what are your aspirations for this new year um to put out more content for y'all because I love y'all on YouTube, is to grow my YouTube, put out more content, let these people know how I kind of like started and like my journey wasn't like no cupcake shit. You know what I'm saying? I had to take the stairs, not the elevator. 
and let people know and see my life for what it is now and kind of like give niggas gems to kind of start their businesses or make their shit pop. Since we're talking about no cupcake shit, do you find it difficult as a woman to put your music out and to be heard? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do. I do. I feel like um, to be a lady boss, they ain't much lady bosses. So if you think about it like a frat, it's like in the world of business, there's so many dominating men and there's no women. And I'm just trying to be like a lady boss, but yet and still I'm masculine. So it's kind of easier for me in a sense. Right. But I can't really say that because I could be a girl who, like, giving the pussy up and I could be, my shit could be out already. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so uh, it, it's tough, but I'm not no coward-ass, bitch-ass bitch, so I'm going to keep pushing my way because I don't want to, like, succumb to being a different person just to make my music pop or put on a dress just so my shit could get more views or some shit like that. I'm not down for that. Would you say you relate more to female rappers or male rappers? Male rappers. <laughs> nah, male rappers, because it's like, um, oh my God, this is going to sound so fucking bad, B. But it's like basketball. I'd, I'm, I like women, but I ain't watching the WNBA all like that. No, I agree. Some I agree. games I'm going to catch. Right. Some female rappers I fuck with, but like, as far as like a group, I'm not, I'm not checking for it because I'm only checking for me as far as musically, but I feel like female rappers sound the same and I got a couple I like I love Cardi B what do you like about Cardi that's a real bitch she's just real <laughs> and authenticity is gonna push you to the top she's ratchet and she's real no no one would have thought she would be where she's at Grammy nominated like seven times over and she's probably gonna win one if I, niggas would have said two years ago Cardi B is gonna win a Grammy everybody would have said yeah right and laughed at it but she's so authentic that people draw to that authenticity and they want to be a part of that shit i love cardi b how do you feel about her beef with nikki <laughs> nikki minaj man she's doing the same shit to cardi that kim did to her that little kim did to her that fucking hating don't want to see you come up she need nikki minaj you need to support female rappers yo you need to stop hating do you think when she was upset about Cardi not calling her out for being on a song with her, do you think that was, do you think she was in the right place to do something like that or she should have just shut the fuck up? It's irrelevant. You got to shut the fuck up because the, the track wasn't even her track. Wasn't it fucking, it was like Quavo's song or some shit like that. So it's not, first of all, it's not your track. She's been caught telling like Tory Lanez to remove a verse or she does crazy things like she can tell people what to do with their art. And I think that because she thinks that she's the queen of rap, she can manipulate people's art with just her say so. And I think that's dead wrong and you can't. So you're in the wrong for that. <laughs> Nikki. I agree. They weren't even in the scene in the music video together. That's not, it's at so all. Petty. It's mad pettiness. And like, like you just said, it's supposed to be females and making it harder. We making it harder for each other. Well, I feel like women don't necessarily empower each other. They want to take each other more down than men actually bring each other up a lot. I agree. I agree. Even if they don't like each other, they'll still work together. But women just hate so much. You know what I do hate about the era of rap right now with that shit? I do feel like there should be more males beefing. Even though I'm like, want to stay beef free. But there should be more bravado in a game where it's like, no... I just don't want this nigga's verse to be better than mine. I just don't want to just have anybody write my verses and just spit them. Like, the competition factor has left for the men, and the girls is going at it. Like, men. Well, the thing is, um, men just want to get to the money. Women are just jealous. That's it. <laughs> Yo, give her some. That's a fact. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I don't want to talk about bullshit. Let's talk about money. Right. Like, I don't worry. I don't care about what your nails look like, the, yeah, what your the, hair look the, like. Yeah. What dude you with? Dude Let's get some money. Thirty dollars feature. Right, exactly. And they're going to get it. They should. They're going to get it. <laughs> so I know that you're also a clothing designer. How would you say that ties into the rap game? It's all in one. They are close cousins. The fashion and the music coexist, and especially in hip hop. They're in a special place together because if you think back at it, like every rapper coming up when we were younger had a fucking... Whether they rap first, they had that clothing line and that lifestyle attached to it. I think fashion gives you the lifestyle so people can interact with both. They could put 
a sound to the lifestyle. If you give them the sound, they're going to want to live the lifestyle. If they got the lifestyle, you want to give them the sound. So tell us a little bit about your clothing line. Um, it's called, oh shit, my bad. <laughs> Let them niggas in. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's called Don Pigeon, but you spell it like damn pigeon. So if you read it, it's damn pigeon, but pronunciation, Don Pigeon. How did your concept come about? Damn pigeon, when you get shitted on by a bird, you'd be like, oh, damn pigeon. So the whole vibe of it was like, we shitting on niggas. My flock, my crew is shitting on niggas. Damn pigeon, Don Pigeon. What was the first thing that you designed? Holy shit, it was a jacket on it that said D-V-M-N. What color was it? Army green. It was actually from a thrift store, and it was an army jacket I got from the thrift store and did like this gold twill cutout and stitched DVMN on the back. And DVMN stands for Don't Violate My Niggas. You heard me? Nice. I like that. Word. Don't violate so, me. So in, <laughs> in regards to that, you're talking about family, I'm assuming. Yeah. That's a fact. You can't. I'm talking about the whole culture because I really want to do put a footprint in the culture. And Don't Violate My Niggas is like, it's not a race thing or no shit like that. It's like, if you my nigga, you my family. Don't violate my niggas in all aspects. It's just like, don't violate us. So you want to do that in your music and in your clothing exactly. line? So no violation. Everything I rep is DVMN. Everything I rep is DM. All my bros got it on. All the females that hang around me wear it. We got bags, hats, glasses, all that shit. Y'all know if you following this shit, man. Y'all know the wave. Oh, right here. DPNY, Don't Put New York. Guys, go check out the website. Go check out the website. <laughs> DamnPigeon.nyc. That's it. Um, do you have anything else you want to tell your audience? Follow me on Instagram at DVMMPIGEON. I do not have a Twitter. That's all right, you guys. <laughs> thanks for watching. Thanks for your time. Word. Um, she was a great interviewer, so check it out, man. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bon, bon. That was dope.